In a moment of human ambition, the disciples argued about greatness. But Jesus, ever the master teacher, flipped the script. He questioned the allure of being served over serving, reminding them that true leadership is rooted in service. It reminds me of my childhood. My mom loved hosting, but I saw the hard work behind it, the cleaning, the cooking, the endless attention to guests. It wasn't about being served. It was about serving with love. Now, focus on Simon Peter, chosen to be the rock of the church. He was a prime target for temptation. Satan wanted to sift him like wheat, separating the good from the bad. In Luke 22, 24 through 32, Jesus tells Simon, stay on your toes. Satan has tried his best to separate all of you from me, like shaft from wheat. Simon, I've prayed for you in particular that you not give in or give out. When you have come through the time of testing, turn to your companions and give them a fresh start. But here's the twist. Jesus didn't say he stopped Satan. Instead, he promised to pray for Peter's faith to endure. It's a powerful lesson. Sometimes our trials are not obstacles, but opportunities to build character and strength. This sifting, this testing of faith is essential. It separates the superficial from the substantial within us building resilience and character. Think about it. Jesus wasn't just about comfort. He was about character development. Paul echoes this in Romans 5, 3 through 5, where he speaks of joy and troubles because they produce patience, character, and ultimately hope. Our challenges are moments of being sifted. They're not just trials. They're catalysts for growth, for developing a hope that does not disappoint a hope anchored in God's love and strength. So, as we reflect on this powerful message, let's ask ourselves, are we seeking to be served or are we embracing the higher call to serve? In our trials, are we focusing on the pain or the purpose or the character Jesus is shaping within us?